Hello, my name is Pikumami. I make beats and I suck a guitar. But fortunately, I have this. The new Roland SP404 NK2, the coolest sampler I've ever owned in my life, with some of the best sounding effects to mask all of my inadequacies as a musician. Somehow I managed to get constantly decent guitar bass lo-fi hip hop beats out of this machine, even with really limited guitar skills. So if you're as bad as me at playing guitar, I urge you to follow me through this life reaffirming journey through all the features the new SP404 has to offer for your guitar or bass. But first, let me just thank the sponsor of this I'm just kidding, I don't have any sponsors. But what I do have is fans, amazing fans. So a big shout out to M Doll, Matt Coes and Nina Francis, they all bought me a coffee. Less Gravity, you rock, you bought me three coffees. And Madeira72, you were absolutely crazy, you bought me five coffees, that's a lot of coffee man. Thank you so much, that's a lot of money actually. And last but not least, Nicholas Zayas. A round of applause for this man, he made history last week as my first patron ever. I mean, it's still crazy to me that people will part with their money to just, you know, donate it to me. It's, it, thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Now, enough with this sentimental nonsense. Let's dive into the first guitar-centric feature I want to show you, amp simulation. You plug your guitar in and turn the switch from mic to guitar. You press shift plus 16 to access the EFX settings. Once you're there, you turn the enter knob until you get amp simulation. You then press the enter knob and choose from a range of amps. I'm going for a clean, twin reverb type sound. Now that I got a clean tone, it's time to record some chords, one by one. Remember, I'm not the greatest guitarist in the world. And I swear this progression is 100% created by me, and not stolen from anywhere, even though it does sound very generic. Again, not the best guitarist, not the best composer in the world. It's a great idea to also record some variations, some extra licks and sounds, and you'll see why shortly. So we have all kinds of chords and sounds recorded. And the idea is to slice just the best parts and make a beat out of it. But before that, let's add a little spice with not one, but two lo-fi effects. First, let's make sure that we have two buses in series and not in parallel. Then we hit Vinyl Sim. And Cassette Sim. It sounds so cool. So let's slice this big audio file up. I'm gonna skip this part because it's very boring. You can see me go more in depth with the slicing function in this video in the top right corner. Okay, now that we have our slices, let's find a pattern that we like and record it into our sequencer. As you can hear, I'm alternating like stabs and strums, as well as harmonic hits like that bing harmonic sound that I made. And this is the beauty of recording your guitar and sampling it and resample it and slice it. Of course, nothing in the world will make you a better guitarist, but these techniques I'm showing you are not meant to make you sound like Pat Metheny or something. They're just meant to make cool sounding beats, that's all. Now, let's add some drums. I've got these sounds preloaded in bank B. Let me just stop for a second right here and tell you that all of these drum sounds, as well as the guitar sound and any other sound that you hear in this video, will be available as a sample pack to all of my patrons. All of these samples are completely homemade by me and they're copyright free, so you can use them in your productions. Just hit the link in the description box below. Let's record Shaker. Hats. Kick. 
It's sounding a bit dry. I'm making copies of hats and snare, adding some reverb and laying them on top of the originals. Now it's time for bass and you know how I love the vocal bass on this channel. So I'm gonna record this one. I think I'm going to record the bass notes individually and trigger them on the sequencer. And at this point, I just felt like the beat was screaming for some strings. Just give me some strings. And unfortunately, with strings, you just can't load up a sample in the SP404 and play it on chromatic mode. It just doesn't sound any good. So I had to go to my computer. And I used Ableton to create this swelling phrase. And that's it, I imported a couple more little nice sound, bada beam bada boom, changed some patterns together to make a song, and this is what I got as a result.
not too shabby for somebody who doesn't play the guitar that well. But all kidding aside, all the techniques that I showed you today apply for any level of guitar playing. They will keep you entertained, they will open up some creative opportunities that you didn't even like, realize were there, and most importantly, if you like this kind of lo-fi hip-hop beat kind of genre, you'll be able to write music without using samples and getting a copyright strike, which is, you know, great. So that's it for today, ladies and gents. For more SP404 goodness, check the video right here. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my coffee sponsors. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please check the link in the description box below. Blah 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 blah